Well, good morning, everybody. Um, you just saw me put together the Irish soda bread. That's for us. It's actually not for the party we're going to. Just look at it. Look at this hairdo and glasses combo. Do you like it? Um, so I'm doing that. Peter's recording the podcast. So I have this Irish pub Netflix documentary going on here. And now I need to make a dip for the party we're going to. I will include the Irish soda bread recipe in the description below. Um, but I will actually like talk you through the jalapeno pepper dip that I'll make in the actual video. Um, it's just like a cooking morning. I figured that because we're gonna be out and about all day, like we might not have a ton of footage, so then at least this way you can have a little bit something out of the out of our day and our recipes to two really good things that we've made before. Alrighty, so I have all my ingredients out. Um, I'm sorry if the dishwasher is a little bit loud below me. Hopefully you won't be able to hear it. Um, so these are the two first things I put in this dip are not actually in the recipe and that is two tablespoons of butter and just like a spoonful of garlic, like minced garlic. I, I mean, just as much as I'm Irish, I'm Italian too. Um, and so I always kind of just throw a little extra garlic in any savory thing I can. So I will just melt my butter real quick. Okay, so I have just the spoonful of garlic and the two tablespoons of butter. Then two packages of eight ounces of cream cheese. Softened. It calls for a cup of mayonnaise. But I don't like to use that much, um, so I just kind of eyeball it. That looks about good. Half a cup of shredded cheese. I'm gonna put more in because I like cheese. I'm telling you the measurements, but I usually, for like dips and stuff, like for baking, I'll use measurements, but for like just normal cooking savory stuff. I really don't. And I'm not mixing it together. I'm gonna use a hand mixer um, just because it is a little bit thicker. Um, I just like kind of like pat it down so that there's room in the bowl. A can of four ounces of green chilies. Then it calls for another can of four ounces of jalapenos, but I um, got fresh jalapenos this time. So then it's a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Again, I use a little bit more. And then you'll need more Parmesan for the top. It's all mixed up. And now I am going to um, put a little olive oil in my, uh, my little bacon dish that I'm gonna do it in, just so that it doesn't stick to the pan. Just like a little tiny dollop, swoop it around, put it into the uh, the baking dish. Okay, so now we're going to do the, the top, like the crusty part of it. Um, I use Italian style breadcrumbs just because they have a little bit more flavor to them. So it's half a cup of breadcrumbs and then your remaining quarter cup of Parmesan cheese and then just a spritz or what is it actually? It says a tablespoon of olive oil. Other times I've made this, I found that this isn't enough to cover the whole thing. But I just start with it. <clears throat> and then I'll add just like more breadcrumbs to the top if I have any like naked spots. So now we just gotta wait for the bread to be done so we can put this in. And, okay, I'll tell you how long it cooks. Bake uncovered at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. Um, and then you just like serve it with like, we usually do Ritz crackers or tortilla chips. Evers, she wants the soda bread so bad. Okay, so the first piece came out a little crazy because I had to start somewhere. So, Peter's looks a little bit fresher. He's got his coffee. How you feeling? Good. I don't know how we don't. Evers. 
We have to have the Quiet Man. I'm gonna look in the closet real quick, but yeah. Quiet Man's classic St. Patrick's Day movie. John Wayne. I wish I could just live this life. <laughs> We talk about it all the time. I don't know if you guys have never seen it. It's an old movie, but it's really good. Um, so Peter's having coffee. I'm having the last of our Green River. Ah! And this is our breakfast before we get ready. Wait. This is like the famous scene. What is this? <laughs> the sunniest St. Patrick's Day I ever had. I'm not throwing away my shot. Hello, we just left Peter's boss's house. Yeah. I look much, you should have seen me in the footage earlier. <laughs> I look, look busted, wild. yeah. Um, knackered and shattered. Knackered and shattered. So we are headed to a place called the Crooked Can. The Crooked Can. The Crane. The King Crab. The King Crab. crab. The Crusty Crab. The Cool so, Crab. Today is going on a record as a very important day that we are not going to Disney on a special day. Like, it's a holiday, yeah. at least for us. Like, most of the world and most of America, they're like, Look at yeah, my sure. cool shirt. It's the Chicago flag. In a shamrock. Look at my cool hat. Am I Irish? I don't know. Am I Italian? He's Irish. I don't know. That's Am what you I call Shirish? when you're from Chicago, but you celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So we're going to some, to some place called the Crooked Can, meeting Chelsea and Kristen. Yes. It's like, I think it's going to be, like, not rowdy, but like, festivally like they're it'll be busy so i had a weird thing like my boss had a keg of guinness like installed in his house which was super cool for st patrick's day like he has nitro coffee but i also ran four miles quick ones this morning and i also ate a lot of carbs just now so i'm like i'm ready for bed <laughs> we're about to go out but it's gonna be a good time guys we are not in <laughs> We're not near Disney anymore. Or in Chicago. Yeah, we just parked out in grass next to a baseball field. And there's like a street shut down, I think. I'm putting my shoes on because I just slipped them on. <laughs> so I have to like tie them. Let's see what the heck this is. There's lots of people. Look at this place. So I didn't realize that it was, I think Sarah knew, but I didn't know it was a, a brewery in Winter Garden. The well, the tap room's right there. This is like a real thing. I'm super excited now. I didn't. I, I thought it was gonna be one place. I thought we were like going to a restaurant, like brewery, bar to like see a band on a stage. But there's a stage over there, like a whole street is blocked off. Check it out. Yeah, it's good. Reminds me of home. Okay, one, I can't get over this festival. But two, I'm looking through Twitter, waiting for Chelsea and Kristen to show up, and I see this this gift from the Quiet Man, and it's, I'm like, oh my god, who else? has seen that in our tweet that I didn't know it's Sarah did. I did it earlier. But let us know down below if you've actually watched The Quiet Man. We John lost Lane. our DVD. We didn't lose it. We just don't know where it is right now. But let you us know. You find it tonight. Yeah. what happened the rest of the night, did we? No. So last you saw us, we were leaving my bosses to go meet Chelsea and Kristen at, what was it called, the Crooked? No, we talked at the Crooked Can. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah. So we left the Crooked Can to go to a pub closer to Disney called Springs. Called Kitty O'Shea's. Yes, we hung out there with Chelsea and Kristen for a little Brought bit. Us back to the south side of Chicago. We didn't record, it did, it was very reminiscent to the south side of Chicago, but we didn't record it, but we did have like the best jam session of the greatest showman music, oh, yeah. driving from the Crooked Can to Kitty O'Shea's. But we left Chelsea and Kristen there, they're hanging out there, they may be home by now, but we left them a little bit ago, came home and just relaxed. Watch P.S. I Love You because the main character is Irish. <laughs> but we wanted to say happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you. Mm -hmm. And we have to get sleep because tomorrow we're helping Jill and James move. Right. So they got a new apartment closer to, I believe, Universal. or oh, They were like close to downtown Orlando and they moved closer towards the theme, theme park area because they both kind of work in that area. 
Alrighty. I'm it's good. sleepy, can you tell? It's good to be good home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.